Hey, hey, YouTube. This is Melissa Scott coming from the 216. How you guys doing today on this Wednesday afternoon? Yes, you guys. I'm coming you asking you a question. This is more like a survey or just to find out what adjustments have you made far as going to the grocery store over products that you ordinarily wouldn't buy that you need. Like in paper goods. See, for instance, I buy Bounty, but can only get Scott's or maybe Viva in a single roll. Okay, in toilet paper, I buy the Cardinal Aloe or the Purple, which is, I think is extra ultra soft, and then the Sharp, you know, the regular Cardinal. Okay, now I had to get whatever's on the shelf far as toilet paper is concerned. So, and then I still haven't found any Lysol. I could get dishwashing liquid. I find I could get bread. That was never an issue. Maybe the first week or so. And I think if I'm not mistaken, this is week three or four of you know us being on lockdown. I think the whole United States will really, I think, know for a fact that it's Ohio week four. And I was just coming to you guys. I still could find some bleach and stuff like that. My dollar store around here is really not. It doesn't have much in it, but I've been okay because, like I said, it's just me and my son now because it's the other boys are going out of the house. And I was just wondering because it's like I'm spending, I mean, I'm quite sure you guys are spending extra money for stuff that you ordinarily don't have, and I got to cut in hours. Okay? Thank God for the people getting their stimulus checks, and I do know some people that did get their stimulus check, so the government is holding to what they do. See, me, I owe taxes, okay? So, therefore, I have to go through a whole rigmarole in order to get my little 1200 But best in believe, a sister going to go through what she got to go through to get what she need because I need that money like everybody else, okay? I'm, you know, even though I'm supposed to be an essential worker, but my job... Ain't even, and I hope y'all listening to me. I don't give a damn. I hope y'all are listening to me. We didn't even get a damn raise. Other people gave their employees a raise, a gift card, a turkey, a ham. I ain't getting none of that. I get this, is you coming to work? Yes, I'm coming to work, God damn it, because I need my damn money. I don't get no other income. I got to come. Okay. And I'm used to working 6 to 2. I'm working 8 to 3 and 4 to do whatever I got to do to make my money. Because I can't go under because of the corona or COVID-19, whatever the fuck it is. I just wish it would leave. But like I said, I need you guys to share, like, and subscribe to this video. Please, please let me know what adjustments have you made as far as your buying. And especially in food. You know, because um, I've been pretty okay with that. Um, I actually go to the butcher anyway. So, only thing about it is I haven't went to Walmart because they saying they letting 10 and 15 people in at a time. And the Walmart I go to is out of North Olmstead, which is a good Walmart out in the, uh, the, of the suburb. Besides me, I don't go to the one in the inner city. So... I've been getting the things that I need, but I sure been paying a little extra. Like that price gouging. This is what you call a price gouging? Yes, they've been doing some things, okay? Sister ain't got no money as it is. You know? I just want to know what you guys are doing. I'm not, a, I mean, I'm adjusting, but I'm not adjusting if it's such a thing, you know? Money going out the pocket, I'm missing. Believe me, a good two fifty of my check. And if you think about that, two fifty every two weeks, that shit add the hell up. Shit, I'm already. Damn, you know I don't even want to talk about it. I'm for real. Okay, at least I am blessed. Don't let's not me. You know I want nobody to think that I'm not grateful. But best and believe I'm grateful. But I'm also like, wow. Sit your ass down. Okay, like I said, please like, share, and subscribe. I want to know, and this is seriously, what you guys and what's going on in your state and how many adjustments besides social distancing that you have done. The social distancing was easy for me because I'm anti-social anyway. I do more socializing on YouTube than I did with people out in the streets lately anyway. 
So that wasn't a problem for me to do the social distancing. But my money's going socially out of my pocket. If you know what I'm saying, I ain't even got it. But it's socially going out of my pocket. They talking about social distancing. I need some social money. Okay, you guys. Like I said, this is your girl, Melissa Scott, coming from the 216. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace out, y'all. Love you.